I had an opportunity to interview about 20 or so local uh, individuals that were uh, seafood related, uh, could be dock workers, could be someone that worked in a restaurant that served seafood to uh, fishermen. I, I, I interviewed captains, back deckmen. Um, and one of the, the last question that I asked each one of these individuals was, what would, what would you like to see uh, Garibaldi be or be like? In the, and one of the captains said he would like to see it the way it was when it was, you know, bustling, and, and I would like to think I would, I would like to see, say the, see the same thing. Um, I'd like to see many big boats coming and going. I'd like to see a lot of seafood processing plants. I'd like to see a lot of revenue, a lot of, a lot of employment, um, and just overall, uh, you know, make, make Garibaldi a, a real bustling city again. I think that even though the, the timber industry may have gone away and even the commercial fishing has maybe taken a back seat. When you look at what Garibaldi and what Tillamook County has is this wonderful visual place. I mean, the, the natural resources, the bay, the ocean, the mountains, uh, that's always gonna be there. And, and I think that what we're looking in the next 100 years is really, you know, how can we uh, diversify the things that we're doing uh, that really takes that into account? And I think developing tourism is really important. I think at the same time, we would like to develop our beautiful water view property um, in a way that uh, makes it more attractive and more um, marketable for people who would like to have a view of the water. We're thinking that if we do some development, we could have shops on the lower stories in offices or residence above that? Fishing will remain. It'll, it'll, I believe it'll always be a good fishing port. The interest to that, uh, to the bay is, uh, is problematic during the winter, and, uh, but uh, I believe the fishing will, will remain. Uh, sport fishing, uh, you know, tourist, tourist type business also, but uh, I don't see any big moves to to commercialize it any further than what it is right now. Probably going to be almost strictly tourism and sporting industry. The commercial fishing industry, with the technology nowadays that the boats have of finding fish and catching them, uh, the larger boats have taken over the industry and, and I just don't see any future in Garibaldi in, in the seafood processing. One of, one of the other really nice renewable energy uh, concepts that have been rolling around um, are the uh, wave energy uh, proposals. And uh, the, the Port Commission has been looking at some opportunities to maybe add some wave uh, energy generation on the tips of the jetties, north and south jetties. And I think that's a real uh, pretty acceptable approach for the fishermen because it doesn't necessarily add anything to their footprint. So it kind of stays out of their way because it's along the jetty. And uh, so I think it's gonna be those types of things, those types of economic development opportunity. And I, and I, think, this, I think this is really gonna take us into the next century and far beyond that. You know, we do have the luxury of having the, the bay itself there uh, versus like uh, other uh, coastal towns, so there is room for development. Uh, as far as the fisheries and the state regulations, I, I don't think that, you know, um, the volume of fish isn't there, number one, and then the restrictions, but uh, like my father, the, you know, quoting him, he said as long as there's one fish out there, somebody's going to want to go catch it.